Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I've never heard this kind of news before, but I thought it was very important to uh, have it here and uh, read it for you and discuss it. This article comes from uh, El Pais, and uh, it comes from July 5th, 2022. This is the title. Lopez Obrador to campaign to tear down the Statue of Liberty if the U.S. convicts Julian Assange. So the Mexican, the president of Mexico, Lopez Obrador, will campaign to tear down the Statue of Liberty if the United States of America convicts uh, the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The president of Mexico says that uh, he will intercede in favor of the founder of WikiLeaks when he visits his American counterpart, Joe Biden, on July 12. Mexican President Andreas, Andres Manuel López Obrador has come out in the defense of WikiLeaks founder Ju Julian Assange and has asked that U.S. authorities drop the charges against him. And I'm quoting. If they take him to the United States and he is sentenced to the maximum penalty and to die in prison, we must start a campaign to tear down the Statue of Liberty, end quote. Said the president, who often goes by his initial, initials AMLO, AMLO, hmm, and his news conference on Monday, the Mexican leader added that he will discuss the issue with his counterpart Joe Biden during the upcoming visit to Washington on July 12. López Obrador comment, López Obrador's comments followed information published this weekend by the Washington Post that the organization reported without borders criticizing the situation of insecurity and violence experienced by members of the media in Mexico. Twelve journalists have been murdered in the county so far this year at a rate of two murders each month. And I'm quoting, it is a smear campaign against the government of Mexico, end quote, the president uh, asserted on Monday. Convicting Assange would imply that a monument of, in New York is no longer a symbol of freedom, said AMLO. The Mexican president said that he had already discussed the issue with the former U.S. President Donald Trump. There can be no silence, he added. Assange if one is wanted in the U.S. on 18 counts, including a, spying, including a spying charge relating to WikiLeaks release of 2010 of vast trove of confidential U.S. military records and diplomatic cables, which Washington said had put lives in danger. His extradition was recently approved by the United Kingdom following a long legal battle. The activist had lived, had lived in the... You call, Ecuadorian Embassy in London uh, for seven years between 2012 and 2019 before being turned over to British authorities. Courts in Spain were also involved after it emerged that the head of the Spanish firm employed to provide security at the embassy had secretly made recordings of Assange speaking with his lawyer and lawyers and many have conveyed this information to the CIA. What did you think? <laughs> it was under uh, um, surveillance 24-7. Assange's supporters say he is an anti-establishment hero who has been victimized because he exposed U.S. wrongdoings in conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq, and this, and that his per, uh, prosecution is a political motive, is political motivated assault on journalism and free speech. And I'm quoting, when this information was released, Various, various media participated in its publication. They agreed to release all the information because they considered that it was a contribution to the defense of human rights, to freedom of expression, not to continue with the double talk, with the lies, with saying one thing and doing another, said Lopez Obrador. Lopez Obrador was invited to Washington after announcing that he was not going to participate in the America summit organized by the Biden government at the beginning of last month in protest over the fact that Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela, Miguel Diaz-Canel of Cuba, and 
Daniel Ortega of Nicaragua were not invited. Ever since Ecuador withdrew Assange asylum, the Lopez Obrador administration had considered offering diplomatic pro protection to the founder of Wikileaks, and there have been contacts between the lawyers who represent him and the Mexican Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The president himself endorsed the offer in May and June, but so far, so far the as the asylum has not materialized. Well, I think it's just talk. It's not you know, walk the walk here. But nevertheless, um, you know, it's all rhetorical regarding the Statue of Liberty and so on. I don't know if uh, uh, Lopez Obrador is doing this for political means or anything like that and just to hit back at the United States. But uh, nevertheless, I do not get involved in the um, Julian Assange's uh, uh, situation. Uh, my assessment, however, it is is that uh, the way I know things work, and as far as I listen to other people talking regarding the issue, they are well informed. Uh, unlike me regarding the issue, I what I've been told, what I heard, listening to these guys, is that actually he did not uh, Assange did not you know dump information on uh, uh, like names and he redacted a lot of uh, information that could you know uh, expose and uh, put uh, American lives in danger and so on. From what I got is that actually the establishment is upset for Assange uh, revealing certain things that were done by uh, the US government and not only the US government and um, you know like a double standard as Obrador also said and um, I am for I, uh, I am for you know uh, for the truth obviously so I understand that certain things could not be divulged they should be and should remain top secret the problem is with this top secret is if there's no checks and balances anywhere then this top secret uh, how should I put the actions could remain top secret and you don't know who's gonna manipulate them because you know power corrupts is that's a fact and uh, you can't just trust people being you know in a certain organization and think oh my god they are they must be good because they are over there like you say okay and I don't have no intention of hurting anybody's feelings but you can't expect uh, each person who works in law enforcement regarding if, uh, if you call it a police department or you call it FBI or you call uh, you call it CIA or something like that you don't expect everybody over there to be saints they are human being uh, after all, beings after all, and it's a lot of uh, hanky panky. Remember, just uh, Hoover, right? And he did a lot of hanky panky, and he was the chief. And if you want to look uh, closer, look uh, no more than about six years back, four, five, six years back, and see what happened here with uh, uh, FBI and CIA. But nevertheless, I think that certain things uh, we need the truth, and sometimes. Uh, I think this guy is, uh, is uh, I don't know, that's why I do not know exactly what information he, he uh, released from what I, I've been told by uh, other individuals over here, of, you know, people that are uh, informed about it, there was nothing that would do that, but I understand the government wants to get him and they will get him, I have no doubt, I had no doubt from the very beginning they will get him. Remember what happened with Snowden. Remember what happened with uh, what was uh, I can't remember the the president uh, Maduro was it Maduro? I think it was Maduro's uh, Maduro. No, no, it was not Maduro. Uh, the airplane uh, that was uh, you know uh, they, it was forced to land I think in Spain or France thinking that they got Snowden in the airplane and uh, the, the CIA and the US government forced countries and then they know uh, nothing. It was, they can do whatever they want uh, unless you have on the other side someone else who does the same thing and they kind of don't go on each other's turf too, uh, in the open. They, that's a war behind the scenes between all these uh, organizations, departments, institutions. So I knew that uh, Assange uh, will not end end up well and he's not going to end up well unless there would be a US president or I don't even know who could uh, you know, intervene and say, you know what, 
I'm kind of God here and I decided this guy will not be prosecuted and forget about it. Until then, the desires there, the buttons were uh, uh, pushed already, you know, the cat was let out of the bag or whatever. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.